Y'all, I'm trying so hard not to go to sleep, y'all. Oh, I'm so tired. It's only 8.14, but I don't think I'm going to make it. Like, I mean, I don't know what I'm standing up for, but it's because it's vacation and I shouldn't be going to sleep this early, but what in the world? Whew, I am relaxed. Look at my view. Get that. I'll probably see y'all in the morning, child. Good morning, you guys. I've been up for a while. I'm not even really up. I was coming so I can show y'all how these curtains go up. So look, this is the this is the iPad. So I'm gonna click. I think I'm gonna click blinds and click lighter and watch. Ooh. Those are the night blinds. Look at it. Oh, shoot. And then, I guess that's like a little curtain. I'm going to put that one up, too. So, go to curtains and put up. Hey, why is it moving? Oh, that was not working. Oh well, I figured out in a minute. Anyway, I slept great. I didn't go to bed until like after 12 because I ended up getting so freaking hungry that I had to order DoorDash. Like because I'm today I'm going to go to a um a, um oh, I hate bonnets. I hate people with bonnets in public. And this is public cuz this is my um YouTube. So anyway, Today I'm going to do a um, I'm going to Pipe Place Market. I'm going to do a um, food tour there that I already like purchased, but it's not until 1 p.m. And yo, I was so hungry last night. I was like, "There's no way." First of all, I don't like going to sleep hungry. Like I can't. And then I was like, "Yo, I'm not even going to really eat breakfast because I want to be like empty for the food tour." So I definitely need to get something. So I got some chicken tenders and fries. I ate the fries. Ooh. Excuse me. I'll eat some chicken tenders um this morning for breakfast. And hopefully I still got a piece of bread like left from Cheesecake Factory too. So if I'm still hungry, I might eat that. Um but yeah, I'm gonna do that. I think I'm gonna go do the gum wall today. I think I'm gonna do the big wheel, which is like this big Ferris wheel today. Um it's supposed to be like 70 or so, maybe a little bit warmer. So it should be a beautiful day. So I will catch you guys later. It's Saturday. Saturday before Memorial Day, Memorial Day weekend. And I'm in Seattle. Oh, I figured it out. Here it go. It just ain't wanna work while I was on it's trying to embarrass me. Yes, it's so pretty outside today. Morning, you guys. I'm finally up, up, up for real. So I wanted to show you guys a little outfit before I start on my walk. It's not a fancy because I really didn't pack no fancy clothes. Uh, just a little sweatshirt. I feel like I've worn this before, but I don't know if I've shown y'all before. And then some shorts and some shoes. These shoes are from Old Navy. Um, so, yeah. I haven't never um, worn these shoes before, so I got some... Just some flip-flops in my bag just in case they don't act right because sometimes shoes be hurting my heel because I still got a heel that I need to have fixed. And yeah, nothing worse than being out, having to walk, and having shoes that hurt your feet. So anyway, I pinned up my hair a little differently today and I am about to leave the hotel. So I'll see you guys outside. Sorry, y'all, I didn't get no footage while I was walking up here because I ended up calling my mama. But I'm walking down. I think the market is down, down here somewhere. And I'm gonna find my spot. So I'm supposed to meet the group at this place called Simply Seattle, but it's right across the street over here. I see. There it is. So I'm gonna walk across there. I'm a little early. But it's a lot of stuff to do around here, so.
y'all. So I got me some coffee because I got about 20 minutes before it's time for the tour to start. And I'm actually kind of glad I got um, a tour to do this flea market because I am here on a solo trip and it is packed. Like it is so busy at the market. Like the lines are so long. So I feel like without this, I wouldn't even be able to get like the full effect or taste all the stuff that I want to taste. So I hope this is going to be a good food tour. But I got some coffee from this place. Cupcake Royale. It has a little cupcakes in there too, but I didn't get that. So I'm just gonna sit here and relax. So how many of you guys have heard of our underground tour? Have you guys done it or just heard about it? Just heard about it. That's it. They don't feed you, so it's like not as cool. Yeah. Uh, but I mean, it's still, it's still a fun experience. You get to go underground, and you actually get to see Seattle 1.0. So Seattle, we, we messed up so bad with Vancouver City, and then we had to build a I don't know what all it is, but it's a big one. They also have one that's... 
I've only had people drop one noodle before. It was still there was one noodle. Like, we we had we held max. <laughs> <laughs> because we don't drop this. Oh yeah. So guys, this is a traditional mac and cheese. That smell very cinnamony. Oh, yeah. What is that? You just said they call it. I'm not going to do that. I told her to say that. This is a chocolate queen. Um, so, not like chocolate truffles, but we're the Italian fresh truffle that grows in the earth. Have you had truffle fries or truffle anything before? Yes. Most of us? Okay, cool. Can I taste like garlic? People think it's like a mushroom, it is related to a fungus, or to a mushroom as it's a fungus, and it's a tuber like a potato because it grows in the earth. So we're going to try some truffle salt first, but we have a few snacks for you. Usually I have like fresh truffles to show you, but it's not in season right now. So we do sell like summer, fall, and winter truffles, it's just not quite the season yet. Okay, so we have the red truffle pesto here. It looks like this little jar. It's sun-dried tomato with truffle, so it's not spicy or anything. It's kind of like an elevated marinara sauce. It's really good for spaghetti. It's really good for just a sandwich or a chicken wrap. I put this on chicken parm. Like, it's better than marinara in my you like it? opinion. So, tell, me, tell me what's in it. Okay. You said sun-dried tomato. Um, there's two nuts in there. So my food tour is over and now my brush. I'm up here by the gum wall. Hopefully it's not a huge line. 
so I can get on it and have the experience. We will see. Um, moral of the story is that line is way too long for a Ferris wheel. Now I might they want to give the come so back bad. tomorrow, maybe when it opens, hey, this, if I wake up early so enough. But if not, then I saw it. <laughs> so I'm not waiting in that line. That's like hours long. Uh -uh. Nah, it's not that serious to me. So I think I'm gonna go find the Ross walk around in there and then I'm going to go to my hotel. Bye. Y'all just walk up and down the most stairs I've ever walked in my life. Whew. Oh, they do have homeless people here. This is where they stay. Y'all see all those tents over there? I don't know what this big globe thing is, but I just want to document that I was near it. Ha ha! Oh, there it is. Hi, you guys. So, as you can see, I finally made it back to my hotel and I'm about to eat. I got some food from this place called BB's Teriyaki. Um, it's across the street from my hotel, so I'm going to eat and just relax because I've been doing a lot of walking today, so I'm just going to like chill out. So I don't know if I'm getting into anything tonight. I might. Um, but that's one thing about like solo trips. Um, nighttime, if you haven't been to the place before, like nighttime can get a little bit sketchy and I don't have like no tours planned or anything where I can do something like with a group of people. So I don't get into a whole, whole lot at night when I'm by myself, um, on a solo trip. So, and then I'm eating now, so I'm probably not going to be hungry enough for like dinner. And then I would probably walk because I don't feel like taking no Uber. So I'm probably just going to chill tonight and just watch TV and just relax. Um, but we'll see if I do get into anything. I will take you guys with me. Um, but other than that, see you guys later. Hey, y'all. So I'm about to try this food that I got from this Barbie BB teriyaki place. This is what it looks like. So it's like spicy chicken and rice and broccoli and some steamed vegetables right here. I also got some... I don't know how to say this word, but they dumplings. Yoza, goza, whatever. So, let y'all know how it tastes. Let's see. Good choice. It's a little spicy. <coughs> I like spicy though. But it's not like hot, hot, hot. But I'm about to enjoy my food. And as I said earlier, <coughs> excuse me, woo chow. And I'm a throat. I may or may not see y'all tonight. I may or may not do anything tonight. But if I do, I'll be back and I'll take y'all with me. Later. Hi y'all, so I did come back out. I wanted a freaking smoothie so bad. So I found this place that sells like bubble tea. That's what I'm going here. Yeah. <laughs> 
right, so I made it back. I had too much stuff in my hands to um turn on the camera on my way back. But oh my mask is stuck. Hold up. But I did get a mango smoothie. It's not quite as fruity. Sorry, y'all. Like I said, it's not as fruity as I would like. It's more um, creamy. And I got me a um, bubble waffle. Y'all never had one of these before. It's good. It's like, it's like a cone. Like an ice cream cone, but crunchy and sweet. Good night, you guys.